This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Run the program to see how it works. Write the code for the month to season function using the comments to help you write the code. The output to the council should look something like, okay, note for this purpose of this level, winters. Um, all right, got it. Let's hit run. Bodcha. Oh, yeah, wow, bunch of stuff. Okay, was born, got it, got it. All right, let's see what we're doing then. So we have the display. We have this function here, name and age, name and age, name and age. And then we have three uh, arguments, three things that are passed into the parameter, right? So the person's name, their age, oh, no, the date, and then the month, okay? So, and then on line three, we have tan, three, and July. Okay, so that's what's, that is what we have going on there. Lenora, 15 March. All right, so the computer says name and age. What the heck's that? Smack. It finds it here, and it says name. What was name? Oh, yeah, Lenora. What was age? Oh, yeah, 15. What's birth month? Oh, yeah, March. Okay, and then it dips down and runs this, and this is to council log name. Name, what was name? Oh, yeah, Lenora. What was age? Oh, no, then it says name is... Right? It says name is, so name, Lenora, is, and then age, it says age, boom, grabs age again, and is a teenager. Why is it saying that? Years old and is age to description. So at the end of this, we run a function. Now, what that happens then is the program is going to pause, right? And we'll not really pause. The program's going to immediately run this. So it says, okay, I got to do, and remember, we're in a council log, but still, it says, I got to do age to description, and I'm going to pass it age. What the heck is age to description? <laughs> Smack. Finds it here, okay? And years, wait, what was years? Oh, years is age. What was age? Uh, here. Uh, oh, 15. So it just passes it through a few different levels there, but it's still the one we started with. Now it looks like this function runs, and it's an if statement. So we're at 15. So if less than three, nope, less than five, nope, less than 12, nope, less than 15, yes. So else if description equals teenager. So this variable that was declared up here as an empty string, just the quotes, is now set equal to teenager. We're done with our if statement because something was true, this line. We go down to the bottom, we hit return. We're returning description. What was description? Well, we just made it equal to teenager. So now this function goes, okay, I got to push back teenager. So slam right where it was called, right where we started, it returns that value. Okay, well, if it pushes back into that a teenager, we're in a council log. What happens? Well, it prints out the words a teenager because we made a function call within a council log. Now, I think what they're going to have us do is, let me zoom out. Yeah. So it looks like they want us to do, what is this, month to season. So let me reset that. Do they even, yep, we have, oh my gosh, they didn't give us much, did they? So month to season, and we know we're going to pass in the month. And the month is a word. Okay, and they gave us these, which is actually super helpful. So what we're going to do then <laughs> There's a few ways to do this. So we could do one big if statement, and that would totally work. We could also do an array. I'm going to do this as straightforward as I can. I don't want to make life harder. So what I'll do then is I'm going to do this. Down here, I'm going to do an if statement. You could use loops. There's a ton of ways to do this. I'm just running through them in my head right now. But down here, I'm going to use an if statement. And then I should also put a variable at the top. And my variable at the top, I'm going to put the word season and set it equal to a quote, quote, nothing. Okay. Now, what am I going to ask? I want to know if it's equal to any of these months. So I'm going to write each of them out because I think that's the most clear way. Another way you could do this is to make a list or to make an array. But we're going to do it this way. I think it's the most transparent. All right. So I'll show blocks. What it involves. I need to now. That up. I'm going to go ahead now and in my if I need 
two and ands. I mean, or ors. I need two or ors. Or 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 or. Because it could be equal to any of these three months, or these three months, or these three months, and be that season. So I have or ors, which are the two line things, right? And that means if any part of this is true, the whole thing's true, and run the code inside of it. Well, what do I want to store in there? I want to check if it is equal, 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 equal. What am I checking? Month, right? We pass to this function month. Where's month come from? Way up here, this function call has month, and it's referring to the month that was originally used when all of this started. All right, so I want to do month equals equals, and then I need January in quotes because January will be a string. Of course, I had a typo. Okay. And then again, month. So if it's not equal to January, I'd like to know, well, is it? And then in quotes, I'm writing February. All right. You might want to copy and paste depending on how you are with spelling. I'm not always the best. Uh, and then in quotes, March. So those are my three months. If it is equal to any of those, what do we know? Well, we know it's winter then. So I'm going to make my variable seasons equal season. Season will be equal to the word winter. Okay. Well, what if it fails? So, and keep in mind, or, or means if it's this or this or this. If I did and, and, it would have to be equal to all three. It couldn't be. It would only be equal to one of them. All right. If it fails, let's check something else. What can we check? I'm going to hit that plus thing a couple times. Let's check the spring uh, months. And it's the same deal. I'm just going to type it this time. So I'm going to say month equals equals April in quotes and uh, or or, which is up near the backspace if you want to use it, or 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 the line line month equals equals May or or month equals equals June. Boom. Okay. Now, what do I want to have happen if that is the case? Well, then it is spring. So I'll go over here and I'll do my season variable will be equal to the word spring in quotes. Now I'm going to hit plus down here and plus down here and then once to get rid of the else. So I hit plus plus and then I got rid of that else by hitting negative sign once. Okay. Same deal with both of these. I'm going to real quick put in summer and fall. Okay, now I have my or or month equals equals for all of them, July, August, September. Let me put in the other part of this, which is x equals blank, x equals blank. And if it is equal to July and all of that, it's summer, so season, summer in quotes. And this would be fall. And we're not done yet. We got to return it all. So now... Let me go over to function and let me have it return. What's this saying? Monthly hasn't been declared yet. I did something odd there. Oh, yeah, I added a Y. That's fun. Okay, uh, we need to return it. And what happens, like I explained earlier, when we return it, not in your if, we want to make sure it runs no matter what. So at the bottom, outside of the blue thing, I'm going to put return season. And what happens then is when we call this function all the way back up here, okay, when we call this month to season, it goes and runs the code, it pushes out whatever, say April's past, so it says April, oh, it's spring, and then it says return the season variable. What season? Season would be spring, and it pushes out to the council spring, because it's in this council log statement. Let's try. But uh That one is tricky. <laughs> Woo! We did it though. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Big if statement there. Right? Returns are super important. Let's keep going.